Put down those pencils, toss those papers, and close those books. It's time for Planet Raver. I'm Emmy. And I'm Chris Talley. Semester two is already among us. We're on the road to the star test and the road to graduation. Let's begin the show with some announcements. It's the last chance to take Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 credit by exam here at San Remember High School. The second semester will be on February 6th. Deadline to submit Spanish 1 and Spanish 2 CBE applications is February 1st. Applications can be picked up in the Counseling Center. Batter up! Baseball trials are fast approaching. Mark your calendars. Tryouts will be held Friday, January 29th, Saturday, January 30th, and Monday, February 1st. All practices are right after school at 2.45 on the baseball field. Applicants must have a physical on file and bring their glove to try it with. The sign-up sheet will be located outside the coach's office. Please make sure you sign the sheet before the first trial date on Friday. If there are any questions, please ask Coach James, Coach Grotchett, or Coach Owens. Let's play ball. This next video from Alyssa comes with an inspirational quote about a powerful comeback from failing to passing. Anything is possible. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody ain't gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Okay, class, I have your test. I'm gonna pass back. I'm gonna start with Tyrone. Tyrone, very good job. Another A plus for you. Georgia, what can I say? You do it to me every time. Great job. Emilio, really stepping up, man. What does that say? A plus. Jimbo, got a little bit of work to do. This, this is my life now. A life of failure. Now I can never go to Harvard. I mean, Jimbo. I wasn't really going anyways, but now I really can't go. And then he said, aha! Flux. Electricity. Just like we were talking about yesterday. I feel so good about you guys. All right, dudes, dudettes, and dudas. We have a test on this tomorrow. Let's study up tonight. Hit the books hard. We'll come back tomorrow and we'll all get A's. Oh, Jimbo, hey, very good effort the last couple days. Today, yesterday, you've been doing a great job. I think you're going to do a great job on this test tomorrow as long as you look over everything tonight, okay? Keep it up. I've seen it all the time in the movies. Yeah, but that's for people that are working out. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. What is the definition of theme? Are the subject of a talk, a piece of writing, a person's thoughts, or an exhibition? 3.14. In 1492. 1.989 times 10 to the 30th kilogram. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox? Good. Okay, guys, please clear your desks. We got our next test coming up. I'm going to hand out the Scantrons. Tyrone, do the usual. Georgia, always impressing me. Emilio, you got this one. Jimbo, you're ready, dude.
yes, that's how winning is done, Cyberroom Texans. And in other news, softball tryouts are this Friday, January 22nd from 3 to 5 p.m. and Saturday, January 23rd from 9 to 11 a.m. Please report to the softball field and bring a glove and dress accordingly. This is a two-day tryout unless you are a current basketball or a soccer player. Those athletes only have to attend the Saturday tryout. Athletes need to bring a fill out the sign-in sheet that is located outside the girls' coaching office. Please make sure you have a current physical on file and this with the trainer. Anyone interested in joining boys or girls track and field, stop by the Lego Gym after school today and Thursday at 2.45 or Wednesday at 3.15. If you are unable to attend, please contact Coach Kostler and get ready to strike a pose and vogue. Today's society fashion is everything. Here's Ashley's fashion scoop. Hi, my name is Ashley Contreras, and I'm outside Portable 13 here to interview Miss Soniker and some of her students to see what fashion design is about and what makes it worth joining. Some things that I've learned in this class is how to drape and many things about fashion. The thing that makes this class interesting is that um, we get to do a lot of different things that we don't really do in other classes. I joined this class because I needed the credit. Some of the things I learned in this class are draping and how to use everyday things to make things you wouldn't think would possible with fabric. What makes this class interesting is that we do get a lot we do get a lot of leeway in what we get to create as long as it's with the project theme. And I think that's a pretty good we get like a break away from academics, just create. I joined this class because I thought it would be fun to be in some kind of design class. The things that I teach in this class, this is fashion design. And in fashion design, we all wear clothes. So we talk about why we wear clothes and the different kinds and styles of clothing. What they're working on right now is called draping, which makes my clothes look different from your clothes, the way I style them. We've also talked about the history of clothing, about fads and classics and why people wore different things in the past and how things might look different in the future. There are currently 15 students in fashion design, 70 in total. They are currently learning how to drape. They are currently learning how to use needles, thread, and fabric. So if you're interested in fashion design, expect to learn many things. So if you want to join fashion design, go to Portable 13 and talk to my son like you're after school. This is Ashley Contreras signing out. The Student Council will have a meeting today, Wednesday, January 20th, in room 2219 from 2.40 to 3.15. We'll see you after school. All right, thank you, Emmy. Checkmate. If you are interested in joining the chess club, please go to Mr. Braun's room, Portable 14, on Wednesday, January 20th, right after school, which is today. And college is creeping up on us seniors. Make sure you're well prepared for everything you need by stopping to the Rayburn U room. Any information? So here's Alvaro. Hi, my name is Laura Rivera, and I came here to the Rayburn U Room to learn more about what the school offers. I will be interviewing Ms. Carnes today and one of her students. Rayburn U is about helping students decide what they want to do after high school and the steps that they need to take to get to that. It's really important for students to fill out their college applications early so that they are on time for um, the deadlines to get into college, but also deadlines for scholarships because it could make a big difference in how much you pay for college. The advice that I give for juniors especially is to really start nar narrowing down the list of schools that you plan to apply to when you're a senior. And if you can, go visit the school. And then for seniors, um, it's all about deadlines. So basically what I just want all students to think about is um, whether you're in ninth grade, 10th, 11th, or 12th, um, when we talk about college, we're talking about something to take you further in your future. But we're here to help you, um, all of you with no matter what you wanna do. The Rayburn U is about helping you get to college, or if not college, something that you want to do. What I like about the Rayburn U room is the help that it provides students. It, it really does help you to find a college that you're interested in, register for tests, complete applications. It really is a really helpful resource. Personally, they have helped me apply to all the universities that I have applied to. They helped me with scholarship applications and they have helped me with registering for the tests, the ACT and the SAT. Rayburn U is located in room 1139 and is open from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. They sponsor College Club, manage adult credit program, and attend college field trips. As you can see, the Rayburn U room is a really useful and resourceful place for students. 
There is counseling available too if Ms. Kearns is okay with it. If you have any further questions, come to Ms. Kerr, Ms. Kerr Carnes and she will answer them. Uh, this was Alvaro Rivera for Planet Rayburn and back to you guys. Uh, love is in the air. What better way to get some volunteer hours than a warm anyone's heart? Handcrafted Valentine cards are will count as one hour. Put some heart into it. They will have more <laughs> detailed than described Happy Valentine's Day. You can also bring a box of Valentine's cards that will count as one hour, as well as it will be donated to Texas Children's Hospital, Nursing Homes, Boys and Girls Har Hate Harbor, Memorial Hermann Children's Hospital. These are no due later than February 11, 2016, at the end of the school day. Valentine's can be turned into Miss Ortiz or Miss Creed in the main office. And seniors, remember that there is a volunteer cord. You may need a minimum of 175 hours before April 1, 2016. All right, Texan, that's it for this Wednesday edition of Planet Rayburn. Remember to tune in this Friday for Sam Rayburn News, our new addition to the Planet Rayburn lineup. I'm Chris Telly. And I'm Emmy. Always stay true to the, to the blue. blue.